the county says since the beginning of the pandemic, this downtown jail has experienced significant challenges, including staffing. But according to the county, they have made progress by offering hiring bonuses and making some operational changes. However, a group that gathered out here today says it's not enough. We are here today because they are not. Downtown, near the doorstep of the jail, this demonstration called out the number of deaths highlighted here in King County's unexpected fatality review. In 2022, the county reports six people in the correctional facility's custody died, an increase compared to the year before when the number was two. Countless more have been assaulted and even more traumatized. Attorney Shade Smith wants the county to do more. They ignore the fact that people are locked up nearly 24 hours a day. They ignore the horrible medical response and care. They ignore the filthy and freezing conditions. My office represents most of the people who are incarcerated in the King County Jail. Anita Candewall, director of King County's Department of Public Defense, says the jail is understaffed. The staffing problems mean that they can't meet with their attorneys because there aren't staff to bring the clients to see their attorneys. The comments come on the heels of a lawsuit filed Friday by the ACLU, alleging the violation of a long-standing settlement agreement governing conditions at the facility. The ACLU says the county needs to address unsafe staffing ratios. One of the ways that other jurisdictions have done that is to impose booking restrictions, either on misdemeanor bookings, on nonviolent felonies. King County Executive Dow Constantine's office provided this statement, saying the ACLU's proposed solution of restricting felony bookings is not the answer. The King County Jail is the custodian of individuals who are arrested by a law enforcement agency. King County has no authority to unilaterally release or refuse to book persons arrested on felony charges. There were talks and mediation between the ACLU and the county, but those talks were not successful, and the ACLU says that's why it's moving forward with the lawsuit. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.